Hello everyone, welcome back again. So in this class, we will be learning what is a website and a web page and a different types of website. So first of all, we will say what is a website. A website is a collection of publicly accessible and linked web pages that share a common domain. A website can be created and maintained by an individual group, business or organization to serve a variety of purposes. Together all publicly accessible websites constitute a World Wide Web. So um, here it means that a website means it is a complete system which is used to deliver different information or different contents about an organization, about the products or uh, like uh, some information in a digital mode which will be accessed by different users all over the world so this websites they are designed using a different uh, variety of uh, computer languages like html uh, php and so on so this website it can be created and it can be hosted and maintained by any individuals whoever have the contents so this website it is a complete system for delivering different contents or information to the user in a uh, digital mode now let us say what is a web page so a web page is a part of a complete website so here in, uh, basically we can assume that a web page they are the building blocks of a complete website meaning that uh, with a collection of uh, multiple numbers of uh, web pages a complete website can be formed so uh, any website it can have uh, any number of uh, web pages say like uh, some website may have uh, two to three different uh, web pages or uh, uh, hundreds and thousands of web pages depending on the different information they are going to deliver it to the users so out here and our web pages for example let us assume uh, a novels and a, no a novel can be assumed as a complete website and then inside the novels we have uh, different topics or subtopics inside this tools all those single uh, individual pages can be considered as a uh, web pages so similar to uh, novels uh, which will be say like uh, you have a novels and then you have to uh, deliver that content digitally on the internet using a website so all those uh, pages it can be represented by a web page and all of that complete novels it can be a uh, websites now uh, we shall see what are the different types of websites so depending on the type of organization so that depending on the type of information the user wants to deliver it to the user uh, a website is uh, probably classified into two different types uh, one is a static website and then another one is dynamic website first of all a static website a static websites are the one that affects and display the same contents for every user usually written exclusively in HTML so static websites are those type of websites which does not require any interaction with the user so it will display the contents of that particular web page or website as it is to all of the users who access that particular um, particular websites and then a dynamic website on the other hand this uh, dynamic website is one that can display different contents and provide user interaction by making use of advanced programming and database in addition to html so a uh, dynamic website or those type of websites where which uh, interact with the user like uh, submission of forms suppose like if you um, visit a particular website you, if the ask if you can register there and then later on you can log in and then retrieve different information on that particular website we can say that uh, website is a dynamic so dynamic uh, website in short it is uh, interactive with the user and depending on the users uh, interaction different contents or different files will be um, delivered to the user so that's the and then that's the uh, definitions of for a website. Thank you. See you in the next class.